What is possible in the gap? I'm Stephanie Filardi. Welcome to Mind the Gap, the podcast. I believe many people fall short of living the life of their dreams simply because they get stuck in what I call the gap. The vision behind this podcast is to help you understand how to navigate the gap and in the process, awaken to the life that is waiting for you. It starts now. Let's go. Welcome friends, thank you for joining me today. Let's begin by taking three conscious, yummy breaths. So inhale, filling the belly, the ribs, and the chest. Exhale, release, chest, ribs, and belly. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, release, let go, surrender. One more time, filling up. Inhaling, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, letting go, chest, ribs, and belly. So today I wanted to talk with you about the gap. I have been speaking a lot recently about the different paradoxes in life. And it occurred to me that the space of the gap is also a paradox. So what do I mean by that? Well, let me first backstep a little bit and remind everyone the definition that I use of the gap. So the gap is the space between. So when we're meditating, it's the space between thoughts. When we're in transitions in life, it's the space between maybe one job and another, one relationship and another. So there's many ways that we experience the gap. I often refer to the gap as the place of the unknown, the place of uncertainty. And what I am realizing is that so many of us struggle in the gap and how to navigate the gap because somewhere in our unconscious, there's a deep-seated belief that the unknown or uncertainty is something to be afraid of. And it occurred to me the other morning when I was writing, because I have a practice as I've shared with you of reflective writing in the morning, that the gap is a paradox because we are in some cases terrified of the unknown. And yet in the place of the unknown, it's exactly where we have pure potential to create. And I remember years ago when I was going through my integrative nutrition studies, I had the pleasure and the privilege of listening to Deepak Chopra. He came and spoke with us. And he said that at the dinner table with his family, they would pray for uncertainty. And at the time, I was like, what? Why would anybody pray for uncertainty? And it clicked the other day, like really clicked in terms of like embodying and feeling it. So while I could understand the concept, I really felt it. And what I mean is that 
When you find yourself in the unknown, in the space between, in the uncertainty, what if instead of being afraid because of, again, whatever those beliefs are or those stories or how other people react in the unknown, what if instead we got excited and we actually approached the gap with a sense of adventure and possibility and awe because the paradox, and this is why I call it a paradox, is that the exact thing that we are afraid of, the gap, the unknown, the uncertainty, is actually the exact thing that we need that will get us to the next level in our life. So I had to laugh, and at the same time, I felt such a sense of peace and freedom that I had to share this with you today because I suspect that many of us, especially during this time of the COVID-19 crisis, there are so many unknowns. And in a world where so many of us like to know the answer, we like to be in control, we like to plan, we like to have goals, which again, there's nothing wrong with having goals and having a plan. Yet what happens when that plan is no longer possible, right? Because things have changed and are changing and are transforming before our eyes. So the invitation today is for you to look at the gap, however you experience the gap in your life, and to bring to it this way of being that puts us in a mindset, in a space of what's possible. What's possible? What is possible when we really connect to the pure potential that exists when there's this fertile ground, right? So what if we lived in a world where we were taught from a very young age, like Deepak Chopra did to his children, that uncertainty is a blessing, that uncertainty is a gift, that uncertainty is actually the portal by which we are able to get the things in life that we say we want. And in the world of transformational coaching, we use the word breakdown. We often call the gap the breakdown. So that's the time in our life where maybe we make a bold declaration, right? I want to open a new business, or I want to have a family, or I want to overcome this behavior or this addiction. We make a bold declaration that maybe scares us a little because it challenges us and it stretches us. And then all of a sudden, as we go to pursue that, right, that vision that we have, we come upon obstacles and what seem like things that are stopping us. We come against those places in the gap, the unknown, the uncertainty. So in the breakdown, there's a breakthrough. So I hope that this wisdom that I'm sharing with you today gives you a sense of hope and a sense of possibility and perhaps a renewed way of seeing what's going on right now in our world and what's going on with the space of unknown and uncertain. What can you create when you really embrace it? Maybe it does feel scary, so honor that, acknowledge that, allow that to come through, and continue moving forward. Because in life, when you're up to big stuff, and whatever big means for you, it's different for everybody, but when you're up to big stuff, and if you're listening to this podcast, clearly you are in some way, then you are going to feel the energy of fear. And you still get to do what you want to do regardless. So that's the invitation, learning how to navigate the gaps in life with beauty, with grace, with ease, with peace, with perhaps a sense of play and adventure. That's what's possible. Thank you for listening. Share your comments. Let me know how you are experiencing this time 
Let me know how you are navigating the gap and I'll speak with you soon. Let's go. If you find this podcast helpful and if it provokes you in any way, meaning you love what I have to say, or maybe you don't like it because it triggers you, awesome. I've moved something in you and perhaps you will want to share this with someone else in your life who might be interested in being moved. So you can find us on Apple, on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, and as always, Feel free to share links with people you love because remember, we are in relationship with each other. So the more that you are present and you invite other people on the journey, the more peaceful world we will live in because we will be together understanding these concepts. So I thank you for your support and you help us keep the show going by sharing it, by liking it, by giving us reviews and helping us to grow. Thank you.